What up everyone? It's here! The month of September boxing reviews is over and we're at the monthly review for September. I finally did it. I'm finally caught up on videos. As I'm recording this, I'm not sure when it'll be posted, but as I'm recording this as of today, I'm doing the monthly review before the boxes of October have started to arrive. They still haven't gotten here yet, so that's good. So I think I'll finally be on time for one month in the history of this channel. So that's awesome. So, uh, enough about that. Um, so many of you people are tuning into this channel for the first time. If you are, welcome. I'll do a quick review or a quick synopsis of what this channel is all about and we'll jump right into it. I'm going to try and make this video shorter. We have uh, not that many boxes and I want to make it short for editing purposes, so on and so forth. Anyway, so this channel is all about finding the best box for you, the viewer. The best box for you individually. So what I'm going to do in this video is line up all the boxes I've gotten for this month, put them head to head, put them in order, see which is the best, so on and so forth. So the general idea is just to help out and guide you in the right direction to pick the best box. That's all. It's just to try to be helpful. If it's helpful, cool. If not, no worries. So just trying to guide people in the right direction the best I can. Things to note about this month. The month of September um, was, was not the best month. It wasn't bad by any means, but it was, it was just an okay month. Also to note, I only have eight boxes, which is one of the shortest months I've ever had for an ultimate unboxing. But um, these boxes are all kind of the best of the best. I've really gone through a bunch of boxes and a bunch of box companies, and these, bo these eight boxes are like the best ones I've really found. So these are all really good boxes. So this month, it was a very close call across the board. They were all pretty much even. Normally, uh, when I do an, uh, the end of the month review, there's like clear winners and clear losers, and then kind of the middle. But these were all kind of the same. They all got around the same rating and they were all pretty good. None of them were amazing and none of them were horrible. They were all just right in that center. So, when I'm doing this uh, countdown and putting numbers on things, don't get too caught up on individual placement. Because I'm sure many people will agree or disagree with things I have to say and that's totally fine. It's, this is just to help like steer you in the right direction. I'm not trying to pick anything for you and tell you what to do. Just to give you an idea by putting them side by side. So, but keep in mind, it was a close call pretty much across the entire board here, so keep that in mind. So, um, other than that, this whole channel, this is what we do. We do boxes, we drink beer, and we grow beers. That's what we do all day, every day. Hmm. So, my rating system. Um, I mentioned it a long time ago, I haven't brought it up in a long time. I have a system called the three V's. Value, Variety, Virtue. This is how I rate the boxes, this is how I give them their score, and this is how they place in the countdown. Now remember, these reviews are for the general population. I'm not reviewing these boxes based on what I think and feel. These are not my opinions. I give my opinions, but that doesn't go into the rating. The rating is based off your opinions, feedback that I've gotten from the viewers, feedback I've gotten from individuals here and there, and then that goes into the rating. So. The three V's. The first one, value. What kind of value you got? Uh, basically, when you're getting a monthly box, you don't want to get, value-wise, the exact money you paid because you would have just bought the stuff yourself. So you want to get more than you paid for. Ideally, double what you paid for because the, the reality of the situation is when you're getting a mystery box, it's not tailored specifically to you. It's tailored for everyone, and chances are you might get something you don't like. So you want to get more value. The next one, variety. You want a mix of stuff. You don't want like really generic stuff that you're going to find at like Walmart, or at least not a lot of it. You want uh, ideally, again, exclusive stuff, rare things, hard to find things, so that's what you're looking for. Also the third one, virtue. Um, what kind of experience you have with this company. Basically, it's business ethics to, to sum up, because chances are if you're subscribing to a box, even if it's only one, there's going to be a problem that comes about at some point. These boxes. Uh, these companies haven't been around very long. Most of these companies are still in their infancy. So they have problems with customer service and things like that. Shit's going to happen. It's definitely going to. There's no way around it. So how that company handles themselves. Are you going to have to deal with problems? If there is a problem, how they handle it. blah de blah, blah so on and so forth. So that's another one. So that's the rating system for these boxes. So I've rambled on long enough. Let's just get right to the countdown. Because like I said, we're going to try and make this a shorter video. So, um... 
For each box, I'll show a picture of everything in the box, a still image. If you don't want to hear me talk, and I don't blame you, thinks I talk a whole lot, like that's what my channel is about, me going in in-depth reviews, so if you're looking for short reviews, here's not the place. But if you just want to see what's in the boxes, skip to the end of any video, especially this one, and it'll be just pictures. There will, my voice will be gone, I will be silent, and it'll be just pictures if you just want to see what's in the boxes. So if you don't want to hear me talk, feel free to do that. Also, there's individual videos for every single one of these boxes, so if, I'm going to skim over things, but if there's something you really want to hear more about, go to the individual video and I'll talk more about it. This is just brief touching on each subject to put it in a rating. So, enough of that, to the countdown. Boba Fett Goblet. Yeah, jealous? Jealous? Thought so. Okay, so, number eight. Power Up Box. Uh, this company has been falling pretty fast. They started out pretty good and they had a first couple good ones. Past few months have not been good. I think I'm gonna give them one more month to turn their company around. If not, they're, they're not gonna stick around because they're, they offer two different kinds of boxes, a premium and a deluxe. This is the more expensive box. So this costs $40 a month, which is a lot. And it says the more expensive box, you get six to nine items in there. And lately, we've only been getting six items, which is, they're not, so they're meeting the criteria, but they're doing the bare minimum. Like six to nine, like they should always be pushing for more items. And when they started, they were. They were always giving like nine items, eight items here and there. So for an expensive box, you should be getting a lot of stuff. So they've been meeting the standard by giving six, but they've only been giving six. So that's kind of what this company has been the past couple months. It's been doing the bare minimum and skating by. So still not a bad box. It's still worth your money, but not by much. And the things in here were um, not super spectacular. There's some generic things in here. I'll be showing a picture. And it, it just wasn't super impressive. And normally that's not a big deal, but for a $40 box, it becomes a big deal. Because that's just too much to spend every month. It's too much to throw down every single month to, to just get by, to just be generic. So you really got to impress people if you're charging that much. If it was a cheap box, I wouldn't really care, but it's not. So I think I'm going to give them one more month. The month of October, which by the way, I think is going to be epic. Just in general, there's going to be so many good boxes that month, it's going to be insane. So... I'll give them the month of October. If they don't turn it around by then, then I'm going to have to say goodbye to them. I, I'm sorry. I really like them, too, so I'll, I'd be sad to see them go. So hopefully they do, but we'll see. Then, number seven, we got classic nerd block here. So um, usually this box is, is really good. This one definitely wasn't bad at all, but this wasn't their best box. I said in the individual video, they can't do great all the time. Every company is going to have a bad month here or there. It happens. It's no surprise at all. You just hope in general that the company has more good months than they do bad. So, and this absolutely does. And again, not that this is a bad box. It was still good. It had good items in there. But a lot of the stuff was very generic. Um, they had a, a lot of generic stuff. They did have an exclusive item. But they have a new partnership with this company, Springs. And they had a, a Springs item in the arcade block and the classic nerd block. And I don't think it was a good partnership. I don't think this is going to take off at all. Um, even though it's exclusive, I don't think most people like it. I don't think it's worth anything. It doesn't look great in quality. So I'm glad they have a new partnership, but I don't think it was a good choice of partnership. So And, the, and there wasn't a lot of items in here, so the, it just wasn't super. Not, not bad. Again, you... If you got this box, I don't think you'd be wasting your money. I don't think you'd really be disappointed, but it just wasn't that great. And like I said, of these boxes, they're the best of the best. So normally this would be up top, higher on the countdown, but this month it just wasn't. So nothing personal to this one. Just didn't happen to be their best month, so no big deal. But other than that, the Nerd Block Company is always really great. In the month of October, I'm subscribing to a bunch of their new boxes because I just decided to try them all out. So... I already have Arcade Block and Classic Nerd Block. I will be adding Horror Block, Comic Block, uh, Sci-Fi Block, and Nerd Block Jr. So I'll get four new ones because I just want to try them all out so people know. Because it was at first it's about finding the best box, but now this company has like six different to choose from. So you got I gotta kind of try to help people out there too. So something to look forward to. So that's cool. So that was number seven. No, not much more to say about it. It was just okay. So, 
number six. One up box. So this box has been getting a lot better lately, and I'm really happy to see that. I'm, I'm really happy that they're uh, putting in more effort because the same thing happened with Power Up Box. They were just skating by for a very long time. They were just kind of skimming at the bottom, just coasting by. Nothing great. It wasn't horrible, but nothing great either. But they really have been stepping it up, and I really appreciate that because this is a good company. It's a cheap box, and they have a great referral program, so if you ever... Uh, refer anyone you get five bucks off making this box even cheaper so I think that's fantastic and for such a cheap box you get a decent amount of stuff you got a pretty cool shirt and you always get like a plush figure and a lot of times a pop figure so they're, they're doing pretty well um, like I said don't get too caught up on the fact that it's number six out of eight because these are like I said the top boxes so it's still a very good box and I think it's worthwhile if someone wanted to just try out a box for the first time and wants a cheap one I don't think you go wrong with this one, but it just wasn't as good this month as some of the other ones. Um, their direct competition, Super Geek Box, they've been kind of close. Super Geek Box is definitely in the lead, but 1UP is catching up. So I kind of like to see this competition between the two of them because it causes each one to be better and better each month. So I'm excited to see what they both do in October. So yeah, we'll see what that is. So number six, 1UP Box. Now, number five. We got Geek Fuel. Um, so I just posted the review of this one, and as soon as I did, I kind of regretted the score. I thought about it, and I think I, I think I was a little too generous with the score. I'm sure a lot of people said it. I haven't gone through the comments yet, but I think I was too generous on that score. Because um, uh, a lot of things in here weren't that great. Uh, it was some generic stuff. The one thing I thought was special was the comic in here. It was a Bob's Burgers comic, but it was a um, Geek Fuel exclusive. But it was actually worth a decent amount. It was selling for a lot online. It's actually somewhat rare, so it fetches like a good amount for that comic. But I think I got too caught up on that fact and gave it a higher rating than it should have. Because that was really the only great thing about it. So they had a nice comic with a certificate of authenticity, which I thought was great. So that was very rare and cool to have. But everything else was just okay. So this was still a pretty good box, and you got pretty good value on it too. But nothing amazing except for that comic. I thought the comic was very cool. So I really enjoyed that. So I thought it was cool. But I think a lot of people agree that maybe it shouldn't have got a higher rating as it did. So anyway, that was Geek Fuel. Good stuff. So we're already done with half the countdown. We're moving right along. Making fantastic time. This is going to be the shortest monthly review ever. Number four was... Senor Loot Crate. So, uh, this box is always a pretty good box. Uh, the funny thing about it is, they have a lot of variety. You're, you're never going to see the same thing twice. And the cool thing is, they're one of the few boxes that doesn't put a t-shirt in every month. They actually pretty rarely put a t-shirt in. Which some people complained about, but I think is great. Because, um, to be honest, most people that subscribe to boxes subscribe to more than one. I know some of them only subscribe to one, but most people do more than one. So all the other boxes are putting at least one t-shirt in every month, if not two. So most of the time we're just like, we're good on shirts. And, ha and even most of the time on that, the t-shirt quality usually sucks. And a lot of the time the designs are weird, so it's like, Bleh. but So I'm happy to not see sh shirts. But you usually see some kind of article of clothing. This time we got a hat, which I thought was really cool. I thought it was a cool Pikachu hat. Um, I doubt anyone would wear it because it's pretty flashy and outlandish. I'll totally wear it. I'll wear it wherever the fuck I want to. But I don't think most people would wear it. But I'm sure they could find someone that would like it. I'm sure any child that likes Pokemon would love that hat. Because it wasn't just like a cheap random beanie. It was actually a Laplander hat that had some like cool design and style to it. So it was a good pick. It was a really good pick and I like that. You also got an exclusive item. The item wasn't super spectacular. It was just... Uh, a little like car from uh, Supernatural, but so nothing amazing, but at least it was exclusive. That makes it cool, and I like that. And then the Simpsons figure, someone was telling me that the gold version was a WonderCon exclusive. I'm not totally sure about that because I saw it sold online on Kid Robot, but that doesn't mean it wasn't. But if that's the case, then I thought that made it a little more special. I still prefer the painted version over the gold version, but that's just me. So you got. Uh, decent stuff and you got a really cool hat 
And so, this wasn't the most amazing box, but definitely wasn't bad. And you always get fantastic value. Loot Crate is one of the best at giving value. You, I don't think I've ever not gotten double my value, double what I paid for it, if not like two and a half to triple my value. So they're really good on the value, and I really like that. And they're a really cheap box. They're only about $20, uh, give or take, depending on your state tax. Now, something to note about Loot Crate, um, I'm going to talk about this a little bit. Um, they technically have the same referral program as 1UP and Super Geek Box, where if you refer four people, you get a free box, technically. But I, I have yet to see it. And I've talked to other people, and they have the same problem. They refer people and haven't seen a dime, which isn't really fair. Like, I'm not trying to badger them for free stuff. Like, I, I would never try to do that. But they're offering it. They're saying, like, if you do this, we'll do this. I've been doing my part, and they haven't been doing theirs. Like, their referral program has an obvious glitch to it and something is not working because I've had this for almost a year now and I've since the first box I've been doing videos so I've been referring people ever since then and have yet to see one credit so I've been in this constant back and forth battle with them on customer service and they said like hey you have like 30 some odd credits like on retainer that just haven't posted to your account and I kept saying like when they're going to and they're like oh yeah it should be next month and I'm like it's been a year. It's been almost a year now, and the first credit hasn't posted. Like, clearly there's a problem. And with 30 credits at $5 a piece, like, I should be getting a year of free boxes. And But I kept getting charged and kept getting charged. I know I'm rambling. It's a long story. But basically, uh, if they the referral program gets worked out, this box is going to get a higher spot because that's a good referral program. If um, So that would change the rating. But because I have yet to see it, and it hasn't worked for a year now, then... That kind of affects it. That kind of affects the company um, and has overall value on that. But the good news is the company's handling it because they're, at least they're responding to me. At least they, when I send a message, they do respond to me, which I appreciate. But we're, I'm still trying to get it worked out because that's ridiculous. You shouldn't have to wait a year for your credits to show up. Like That's completely outlandish. So I'm kind of nervous about the future of them. And it's a hassle. It's a hassle to have to deal with customer service, to contact them, to wait for a reply back and forth and back and forth like we all have better things to do we all do so it's just not something anyone wants to do so that does affect the rating a little bit um, but it's still in the top four so it's still a great box but even with all that I still think it's a good company you get a lot of variety good mix of stuff the only problem with them the only complaint I would have is um, they they kind of take risk risks a lot so the the variety is good, but sometimes they push it too far and they pick things that are too weird that not everyone likes. So so they, sometimes the boxes are hit or miss, but it, with such a cheap value, I think it's still worth it. But anyway, that's been Loot Crate number four. Number three, arcade block. Yeah. So. This one wasn't uh, super amazing either, but there was a few things in here that I really did like. We got another exclusive item, but it was another Springs figure. It was like, who gives a shit? But the artwork they had in here, was I was so happy with it. I can't even tell you. The artwork isn't even like anything amazing. There wasn't an artist tied to it. It wasn't signed or anything. But it's nice, like, framed matte um, canvas paper or canvas onto a canvas frame. Like, this is like ready-to-hang artwork. I hope they do like all artwork in the future. I hope they get artists and they get signatures and like sign a number and make this a real thing. Make it like legit art. But I was so happy with how they like put it on like a frame for you. Like so you can just literally hang it on the wall and it looks professional. This looks nice like it would belong in a nice home. So I was so happy about that. It's the first box I've seen do that, but I hope all boxes in the future do. But that's why it got uh, higher on the ranking because they're kind of pioneering that aspect of it. They were the first ones to really stop doing the posters and stop doing or start doing the artwork on like cardstock that fits in the box. So they're constantly pushing the envelope and like doing new creative things. And this company has just been really good. They always give a good mix of stuff. They always give good value. I like the T-shirt. I like the other items. You got good value on it. So again, nothing blew me away. Um, I really did like the artwork, but but everything else was good. It was it was a really good box, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So even though I'm not that into like horror and sci-fi, I'm still excited to see what comes in it because this company has just proven that they they do a good job. They constantly get exclusives. They have 
partnerships with everything. They own their own shirt company, so they actually get licensed stuff in there, and they put research into it, and they mix it up, so I think it's a really good company. Um, so I definitely recommend the Nerd Block Company to anyone. The only problem is picking which block you like, but hopefully the month of October, I can help you out with that a little bit, but we'll see. So anyway, number three has been Arcade Block. Very nice block. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Number two, we're almost done. Look at this. Making great time. Number two was Super Geek Box. Now, um, this one didn't have a lot of variety. You got two t-shirts, but they were great t-shirts. I loved them, man. The, I, honestly, those are two of the best t-shirts I probably ever got, and I was so happy about them. They, were, they did a really great job, and whatever artists they're using to make t-shirts does a very nice job. The design of them, the layout of them, everything about it has been better. And I was very happy they put their logo on the back instead of on the front of the shirt, which just shows they're listening to customers. It shows that they're doing things and evolving, which is really appreciated. The other stuff in there was fine. It was good stuff, but it was pretty generic. I was just ha so happy with the t-shirt designs and with this company in general. Um, with their referral program, with their prices, with their variety, with their t-shirt designs. like Overall, I think this is a great company and a very cheap box. So I think everyone should give this box a try. I think it's definitely worth your money, and you wouldn't be disappointed. Um, the only thing about this, and the same with 1UP, you're usually never getting exclusives, unless it's like crappy exclusives, like a keychain or something like that. So they haven't quite broken that barrier of getting like pop exclusives or having partnerships with any companies. But I hope they do in the near future, because that would just send this box over the top. And this would be number one all the time if they could work out a way to get some exclusives. So I hope they put some effort into it. Same with 1UP and doing that as well because pretty much all the other boxes I have do have some kind of exclusive. It would be, so if they can do it too, I think they would really make themselves known in the box world and really be one of the best. So that's my only advice to them. Um, and the only other thing wrong with this box, they put a poster in there, they rolled it up, came damaged. No big deal, it's crap anyway. But, but yeah, I hope they do uh, get some exclusives because that would be quite fantastic. So awesome. Alright, we're on to the number one box. This is officially the shortest unboxing video ever. So, again, let me preface this with saying that all these boxes, all eight of them, were pretty even. There was no definite winner or loser. They were pretty evenly matched all the way across the board. So I'm going to show you number one, but realize that it won number one, like, not by much at all. So, number one, Comic Con box. And I know you're thinking, like, Fucking really? Comic Con box? But yeah. So the reason and the only reason this got the number one spot is because we got such a rare item in it. So we got a reprint of the Batman Adventures number 12, which was the first appearance of Harley Quinn, which is a big deal. That's a very rare comic. Um, but we got a reprint. And normally reprints are garbage. Reprint comics are like absolutely useless and worthless, like can barely be given away. I remember as a kid they would do reprint comics. And they would give them away, like in stores, just stacks of them, like newspapers, just giving them away. They were worthless. But this one um, had a fairly rare uh, run. There, I guess there wasn't that many of them, or maybe not that many people got this box or something, but it, it turned out to be a very rare comic and very valuable, even though it's just a reprint. And I think part of that is, it wasn't a straight reprint, they added a new cover. So it has a different cover, and it's also an exclusive cover to this box. And it's not like a bunch of other boxes got it. It was just this box. They got an exclusive reprint, and then they got an exclusive cover to it. So I think that made it valuable and wanted. And that's this book, that comic book, is probably the rarest and most valuable item I've ever received in a box. I don't think I've gotten one to top that. Ones have come close in value, but not rarity. It's, it's rare to get rare items in a box, because you got to realize that Everyone gets the same stuff, so to get something rare is very uncommon, unless you get some kind of, you win some kind of uh, special prize or something like that. But this wasn't. Everyone got that comic. It's just very rare. So this is one of the very few times where I think an item in a box is actually going to increase in value over time. Not a lot, because it's never going to be worth more than the original, obviously, but I think it will go up, because I think people realized it was in there, but then couldn't go back and buy the box. It was too late, so people wanted it. And I, and I see this book selling online for a good amount, like 50, 60, uh, maybe a little higher than that dollars. Like it, it's going for a really high amount. So 
very rare and special to have, and I think I'm going to keep it. I don't think I'm going to sell it, even though it sells highly. I think I'm going to hang on to it because it's a very special book. I don't think I've ever had any like rare books like that where it was the first appearance of a character, even though it's a reprint. I think that's really cool to have. Like That's something super special that sets it apart from any other box to have something so rare and, and special like that. So, so that's the only reason it got number one, because to be quite honest, the rest of the stuff in the box was just okay. It was pretty generic stuff. It was pretty subpar. It wasn't bad, but wasn't good. So it just would would have been okay. It would have been in the countdown, but much lower. But that one book just brought it all the way to the top. So that's pretty much the only reason it got the number one spot. But I couldn't exactly ignore that fact because it's a big deal. It really is. I doubt we'll ever see anything like that again in the near future, but here's to hoping. So Comic-Con Box has always been pretty good about getting exclusive comics which is good, and they do cool artwork, and they also add in signed versions of artwork too, so this box is really turning out to be pretty nice, which is good, because this is one of the $40 boxes, and if you're going to be 40 bucks, you got to like, you got to earn it, man, you got to, if I'm giving you 40 bucks each month, you got to make me want it, so, and they have been, uh, the only thing they need to change is their goddamn logo on their artwork, why to this day they're still doing it, I don't know, but not going to go on that tangent, that's the only thing they need to change. Other than that, they're doing great. They're getting exclusives and they're gaining notoriety. You get a lot of items. You get a good mix. You get good quality t-shirts. And yeah, it's a pretty good box all around. So that was number one. So that was the countdown. Um, this is one of the months where we didn't have Marvel Collector Core. So that one's always automatically the winner. So that wasn't here. So these boxes are all pretty even. So let's just do a little bit of a wrap up and then talk about the future of the channel. So, a roundup. Basically, yeah, we got through this month pretty quickly. A uh, nice short video. The reason for that, like I said, I want to catch up with boxes. I'm constantly a month behind and I'm constantly doing a uh, month late boxes, and I, which I'm sure is annoying to my viewers and makes people not want to watch because it's so old. So I'm, I'm really happy and I hope I can keep up with it because I'd like to review boxes the day they come. As it is, I'm always the last one to get boxes. I'm on the West Coast, and for some reason, I get delivered to last. So many people already have like their nerd block and horror block and things like that. I have nothing. I have not gotten the first box of October yet, but I'm sure it'll come any second. Um, if I have any time, I'd like to do a weekly roundup, and I also have tons of boxes from fans and, that I need to unbox to that are just dying to see me do it, and I've been months behind on that too. So if I can try and keep up with both, that'd be fantastic. Other than that, I hope I was helpful. I hope this was helpful to you to give you an idea. Uh, normally, it, it's like I said, it's much easier to see the high and low ends of this. These were all pretty even, so this month is going to be a lot of you, the viewer, putting in your own personal implementation, so your own personal preferences and things to help you decide. I can't uh, pick for you. you got to say, like, well, I like these things and I like these things, so maybe this box is good for me. But uh, either way, I'm just trying to throw it all out there and like steer you in the right direction of what might be the best bet. But yeah, feel free to hang out and feel free to leave comments and ask questions. I, I'm super behind on comments, but I try the best I can to get to them eventually and then answer questions. So I want to try and get this channel up to date and have it be a well-oiled machine where things happen then and then questions get answered then, box reviews when they arrive, so on and so forth. But anyway, this has been the month of September. Uh, I'll see you guys probably tomorrow whenever this video posts with boxes of October. So I'm trying to put them out as much as I can. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything else to say. I'm sure I missed a bunch of things I normally say because I skimmed through it so fast. But yeah, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, this has been the Beardy Nerd. This has been the month of September. Let me know what you guys thought of the boxes. And I can't wait to see you in October. It's going to be such a big month. I have so many more boxes coming in, new stuff to try. That's the good thing about being caught up. I have time to research new companies and stuff, so very excited for it. It's going to be a great month. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for supporting. And also, oh, one more thing. Uh, I'm doing my 5,000 subscriber giveaway very soon. I just hit it. So if anyone wants to enter into that, post to social media and then send me a message of any links that you post. Whoever does it the most wins. So get out there. Post. Spread the word about the channel, and you may win a special personalized box just for you. Other than that... Thank you for watching and supporting. Love you all so much. Peace.